My name is Daniel Ortega. I am the men's head soccer coach and kinesiology instructor here at Hartnell College. I've been here since 2007, so 15 years. It's really just the process of like being able to help students move on to like their next level of education and using whether it's kinesiology or soccer for it, it's it's the best. I mean, it's it, that's what I love to do. Hartnell men's soccer 2022 season was I was at the beginning, you're just, you were flipping a coin, right? I didn't know how this was gonna turn out just based on the year before. I had a very veteran team, went to the final game. And this year was a lot, I, I think it's one of the most, uh, I think I had to coach the most, right? One of the, the seasons where I, I, I coached the most, but it ended up just being a really fantastic year. Um, it started off, right, with, uh, we started off with a, an eight to one win at Marin. And that was just kind of like the first kind of preseason game, but it wasn't a true measuring stick until we, we, we played our Hartnell tournament. And we played the number one ranked team in at the state at the time, which was Cerritos College. They beat us three to one. And it was uh, really eye-opening, not, not for me as the coach, because this is something that I kind of expected, right? Like Cerritos had like, you know, 20 plus games on us. These guys only had one game, but um, it was their first eye-opening experience. They could have went two ways with it, which was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be, you know, you know, hide my head in the ground or, or, or work through it. This year ended up being really, really satisfying in that way because as they started to grow and get the experience, we started to really kind of build some momentum um, in this group where at the end, I mean, I think our last 10 games we were before the playoff game, we were 8-0-2. So fantastic in that sense to win a conference championship with this group, the way we did it, the style of soccer that we played was, was really pleasing on the eye as well. Um, unfortunately, you know, it wasn't enough. We made it to the fourth round of playoffs and, and lost to Taft two to one, but so proud of this group in so many different ways in their growth and, and we'll have a lot of these guys back coming you know, next year. So finishing 15-3-3 three and, three and winning your conference, um, it puts you in the mix for, for a lot of awards. So this year, you know, the conference title obviously is probably the most special, but uh, Alan Bedoya won Player of the Year for the whole conference. And then Brian Mendoza won Defender of the Year uh, in, our, in our division, which is the Southern division and then our coaching staff got staff of the year for for this year so those were the major awards I anticipate uh, even Alan Bedoya I mean he scored 21 goals I haven't had we haven't had so uh, 20 plus goal score since 2011 Max Estrada who ended up going to UCLA I'm anticipating him getting an all-state recognition like a first team all-state recognition and an all-american recognition so uh, we still have to wait on that Every game is, is a memorable moment and just, you know, just winning that conference title. I, you know, I, I think the MPC was a memorable moment. Um, the Cabrillo game was probably the, the biggest moment I think that we had this year. We were down two nothing and then to come back and to score three goals in the last 10 minutes was in front of a big crowd, a big pro Hartnell crowd at Cabrillo was the, I think the most memorable soccer moments. But I think as a coach, you know, the most memorable moments are, are the moments that we had away from the field, right? In the classroom. We had a really fun like bowling night at Salinas Valley Bowl. We had uh, the big barbecue that we did with the girls. Those kind of, uh, I think those, those team building moments uh, are, are just as important as our soccer moments. And uh, those are just uh, a few of the highlights this year. This is, this is kind of my recruitment pitch for everyone that comes here to Hartnell. There's just four basic tenets of it. Number one is our success. I mean, we are one of the most successful programs in the Northern California uh, for, you know, for community college and I mean, all of California, even the country. I think, uh, I think we have a really good chance of finishing in the, in, in the top 10 this year in the nation. So this would be, I would say 10 years running that we, we're one of the, you know, we're highly ranked. Number two is just the schedule that we play. I mean, we play a super competitive schedule, you know, away from conference because we're good enough to do it. Number three, our facility. I love our facility, soccer specific, grass field, just the goals, the banners that we have, the crowds that we, we attract is, is, is pretty fantastic. And then the fourth one is our transfer rate. 
our guys are, are moving on to the next level of the education and they're moving on to play soccer, right? Alan Bedoya this year is going to be going to CSUMB already. Jonathan Mosqueda is going to go to Dakota Western. And then we have several other players that right now are in just communication with their coaches and they'll be signing somewhere really soon. Well, I want to thank just all the support that we get from our school, from our just administrative staff, from Danny Teresa, Joanne Venegas, Christina Westfall, right? Uh, Rich Givens, and then even even our maintenance staff here. I mean, they do a fantastic job of just really supporting us. Thank the parents too. I know their 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 sons in their case to spend a lot of time with me, and I know that uh, I have a you know a special role in that as well. So I you know I want to be able to thank them. Just the soccer community in general here in, in our area, or you know the the Tri County area. Um, they do a fantastic job of uh, getting these guys ready for here to heart now and you know my whole job is just to get them ready for that next step and uh, I already started that I mean I already got my recruiting list so you guys will be seeing me soon here at high school games and at club soccer field games too as well so I look forward to seeing you guys.